Okay? Similarly, you have a definition for what's known as the odds against event. The odds against an event E. And that's defined to be N of E complement to N of E. Does anybody notice this difference in definition? Bless you. Do you guys notice the difference? What's the difference between the definitions? What is it? They're switched. Good. They're switched. In Vegas, I believe, I recall, that they indicate for various games the odds what? Odds against. So if the odds for is the number of successes to the number of failures, you think of the odds against as the number of what? Failures to the number of what? Success. So what you could see in Vegas is something like this. 100,000 to 1. 100,000 to 1. Can you guys tell me, after I just gave you the definition of odds against, if they say the odds against winning is 100,000 to 1, what does that mean? Well, what does it mean? For, there's 100,000, what, failures to every one success. What if it's a million to one? A million to one. Huh? There's a million, what, failures to one? Success. You see what I'm saying? This is a way to communicate to people or to compute even certain aspects of winning for a particular game. Does it now put context of that whole thing, you know, the whole game situation in Vegas? Does it now put some sort of context for you there? Is that right? Did you guys ever think of it this way? Oh, you never thought of it that way? You just thought of, let me go gamble and play. No, most people do. Anybody here win any money gambling? A lot of money? You ever win a lot of gambling? Never? I once went, I did do a little gambling. I gambled with the nickels. <laughs> I gambled with nickels. I'm not cheap, but it sounds like I'm cheap. I gambled with nickels. You know, you know how much I won in nickels? You guys know? A whole 60 bucks once. I was so excited. Eddie, I felt like a winner. $60 in nickels. So I bought everybody breakfast with my $60. There wasn't many people. 60 bucks. Vegas. There wasn't very many people with 60 bucks. That buffet is like $30, right? See, Eddie, you live in Vegas. That's what I keep asking him. Eddie, tell these guys about what you told me about the machines. Not yet? OK, well. Eddie used, to, Eddie used to service machines. Shh. Sorry. Do I? No. No. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to expect value. Uh, just know that MIT, you guys know about this? MIT has a, what they call a um, poker club. It's the MIT Poker Club, uh, Blackjack Club, sorry. On the internet, look it up. It's a true story. They made a movie, it's a book, all this stuff. But you can actually, we'll, we'll get to it later on when we talk about expected value. You can actually, it's known as expected value, and uh, we'll talk about it. But yeah, I don't, I, I don't know any of that stuff. It doesn't interest me. I'm not interested in that. It doesn't. Counting card gambling just doesn't interest me. So, no, never. Well, it gets harder to count because it's harder cards, but um, I don't do it. I don't know why. I just don't. I'd rather eat at the buffet. 
watch a show maybe. I'm kind of bored with the shows too, but. All right, here we go. Let's look at some examples. What's your time like? What time is it? 12.33, okay. All right, let's look at some examples. You roll a die. What's the odds for rolling a one, three, two, even number? Number less than three and four, a number more than two. Nope. You guys hear the question? Is odds the same thing as probability? No. How do you know? They have different definitions. Is that true? And be careful, because this is what happens. This is the reason I answered you and I answered you in the way I did is because sometimes when you ask students a probability question, they'll give you the odds. Or you ask for odds, they'll give you probability. See what I mean? So you're going to answer whatever question they ask. Does that make sense? No? OK. So how, is this a probability question, or is this an odds? How do you know? It says odds. Good. So let's look at the first problem. Notice this. Notice this situation. To use the definition of odds for, where is it? right here. I need to know the number of outcomes in that event, and I need to know the number of outcomes that are not in that event. Is that true? In order to deduce the number of outcomes that are not in that event, I, have to need, to, I need to know what those outcomes are. If I need to know which outcomes are here, I have to know the what? Sample space. Are you okay with that? Right? So what's in the sample space when you roll a die? <laughs> What's in the sample space? Oh, good. You guys know this, right? OK. One, two, three, four, five, what? Six, OK? Six. These are the outcomes associated with rolling a die. Is that right? Now, which outcome is associated with rolling a three? Which outcome is associated with rolling a three? Hmm, let's look at the list. E is defined to be what? Is that outcome associated with rolling a 3? No. 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 